this is the reality of living in Bali. Get all glam, you have to go and ride your scooter. Having my usual breakfast. Okay, I'm really nervous, so I don't know. <laughs> Let's go train. Kale. I like, kinky I, I like, kale. I like the fact they call it kinky kale. Everything that's green, basically. <laughs> Everything that's green. Yes. This is the outfit choice. Cheers. I am equally excited and nervous. Today I'm holding a sisterhood coffee morning, which is sort of a networking event for women here in Bali, women who want to form deeper connections and find their people, like-minded people, but more so to be heard, to be understood, a place, a safe place to just be authentic and to eliminate competition. Like this isn't about who's doing better than anyone else. Although like initially I was pondering about doing a women's in business event and then when I thought on like a deeper level of what I really like want to bring is a place where women can just get together share their challenges share the lessons that they've been through their past experience and things that they're excited about and knowing that they have other people in their inner circle see here with Bali everyone moves away from their home and it's very out of your comfort zone step it's a big step and finding your people again and finding like making friends as an adult can be quite challenging and yes there's a lot of opportunities here in bali to make friends but i think a lot of those opportunities allow you to get to know people on the surface level like wrong clubs classes cafes co-working spaces like you don't really get down into deep conversations and like this will build a very strong connection between two people and doing events has been something that i enjoyed so much for such a long time and my the first event that i have done was two and a half years ago and it was for mental health ireland with all the proceeds going to the charity and essentially i brought people together to move their bodies eat good food and have that social interaction because my core concept behind my first event was that in order to have a healthy well-being and to feel fulfilled like having other people around you movement nourishment are all like key factors that go into like a person feeling good about it themselves so um, I feel like I'm coming around full circle and being able to do something like this here in Bali is I, like obviously like so exciting but yeah I am nervous at the same time but I'm trying to reframe my nerves and the anxious feeling that I'm feeling as a good thing like if I wasn't scared if I wasn't anxious then I probably wouldn't care as much you know and I think I'm what I'm trying to tell myself is I'm feeling this way because I care so much so yeah essentially my hopes around it is to create a community to create this community to create this ongoing thing to create to have this ongoing inner circle of like-minded women who want to be vulnerable who want to have other strong women around them that have those meetings have those gatherings to leave heard and also inspired uh, so yeah that's that's where we are at currently just having my usual breakfast like obviously guys nothing changes here so we have scrambled eggs dragon fruit and a banana i want to be fueled for the day i'm going to bring you along my whole day essentially uh, starting off with the coffee morning but yeah i'm gonna fuel up have my brekkie and then it'll be time to go this is the reality of living in bali you get all glam 
and then you have to go and ride your scooter. Huggy. I brought myself to the beach for a walk before the event starts. It's quarter past seven, so it's still quite nice. Not too hot, not too stuffy, because anything after 8 a.m., it's like, whew, which I'm not complaining, not complaining, but it is very hot. And here in Bali, especially now, oh my gosh. Another thing about Bali is you cannot be sad. You cannot be sad. All you have to do is bring yourself down to the beach. And there's so many Bali dogs here. And honestly, it just like replenishes your oxytocin levels. And immediately you feel that much happier. But in terms of, yeah, the weather in Bali, it has gotten quite hot, especially now in the last two, three weeks. Um, the climate and temperature definitely has changed. So just trying to be up nice and early to get a lovely beach walk in because it's also quite difficult to walk here in Bali. There's not a lot of footpaths. It's not that accessible. So the best place to walk is the beach. Um, but yeah, so event is starting at 8 a.m. and it's only about five minute walk from the beach. So I was like, I'm gonna come here, breathe some fresh air, ground myself uh, this is obviously going to be a lot of social interaction so I do want to make sure my social battery is full I just arrived at our venue and it's just such a cute cozy spot let me show you hello good morning what do you want to get out of this event? I want to get a sense of community. Um, I feel like there's not enough spaces where women can talk about their emotions and also not have any rivalry or competition. Um, and I'm so glad that Martina is starting this in Bali and I'm excited to see where it goes and unfolds. Oh, I love this. Oh, you did. You're like, you're like, no, I can't. Put one in it and stay there for like a minute. Yeah. What's your name? Malia. Malia, I'm sure. Love to meet you. I've seen you in forever. I know. Hello, hello. Good, how are you? Hello, I'm Jess. You're here. Oh, hello. Hey, surprise. Nice to see you. Hello. Oh, you too. Hello. Hello, Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I should just like play a little bit better with this. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. I don't know. <laughs> um, first of all, I just want to say like thank you for showing up and being here. Like honestly, like my heart is already so full without even like starting this. Just to have you all here and to know like we can form these like deeper connections and like, you know showing up like you could have been anywhere on a saturday morning but you decided that like you know you are looking to connect with other women and have that safe space to share so alex i'm from russia uh, and i'm extremely happy to be here you can't imagine how much and you all like, look so beautiful and energy from you just wow uh, I start to forget English words, and by the way, my English is not good, not good. Yes, I am. I'm a Russian woman, but I try. <laughs> Instagram highlight, you know. I was like surrounded by people where we lived, and it was like, yeah, you 
get a good job and you go to uni and you have a mortgage and a family and that's definitely what my older sister did as well so I was always the younger child that was like naughty and... Not really, no. Um, <laughs> So I am a fellow rejectee of you. We spent five weeks in a very small coastal town in Japan, very isolated, and for the entire five weeks that I was there, I came across one other person that could speak English. I felt amazing there. I love London, <laughs> but I really love the city life. And I broke up with my ex, so I yeah, it's like on that trail. Yeah, 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 it actually makes me feel really good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like even like Sarah. I'm like, honestly. Yeah. Comes from we just wrapped up our first event, Bali Sister Club, and I feel incredible. I really feel incredible. There was such great energy brought by all the girls, and I'm so grateful for Alex to be able to do this with me. How do you feel? Oh, I feel this? very nice, and I feel so inspired, and I met so many beautiful girls, and wow, I'm just, I'm fulfilled with wonderful energy. Yeah, oh my God, I feel like my, cup has been filled you know when you there's people you spend time with and some people are hoovers and some people are what is the word like they recharge your batteries or suck your energy and i feel like these people and this energy just like recharged our energy so best mark uh, about quality relationship is ask yourself how you feel uh, after spending time with certain person you feel same as before better or worse yeah uh, we feel much better. oh we feel much better <laughs> It is time to hit the gym, last workout of the week and we're training full body. I feel of adrenaline, so much positive energy, so I feel like I need to blow the steam off in a good way. So I'm excited to move my body. It's Saturday morning, 11 a.m., which I never train on the weekends anymore. So I don't really know how busy or quiet the gym is going to be around this time. Usually during the week, like Monday to Friday, 11 a.m., it's chaotic. So I don't tend to train around this time, but might be different vibes on the weekend. A lot of people usually go somewhere, myself included. I'm usually not here on the weekends. This is why I try to get my sessions in during the week, but outfit of the day we have honor active unified sports bra i'm not really sure and don't really remember the name of it but honor active the back is very cute if i do say so myself and shorts are just you can't really see it. let me that's that's the shorts they're from chum so it's a brand here in bali Changu, basically. Quite nice, but yeah, let's go train. So we got tuna sashimi, poke bowl. Sweet potatoes, yeah. chicken. Mm. And some... Try it. Okay, what is it? Kinky kale. I like kinky that. I like, kale? I like the fact they called it kinky kale. Kinky it's kale. so me. All right. 
Oh. Yeah, I told you. I told you. What do they put in it? Uh, kale, apple, something. Everything is green, basically. <laughs> everything that's green. Yeah, everything is green. Okay, we're trying to figure out what on earth is this. Huh? You can just take a photo and. Yeah. Are you using Siri? But the thing is, it's, it's, it's not that deep. It's not. Go straight to the back. I'm back home about to do a little bit of work. So I've client messages to get back to. I'm also recording a client webinar on how not to hate your body, which I'm so excited about. I feel like body image is something that we as women struggle so much with and we don't have enough tools to be able to get ourselves out of a negative spiral when we're having bad body image days. And bad body image days are inevitable. Like they're going to come no matter how much work you do on your body because bodies are transient and how we feel about our body changes. But we just need tools to be able to have more of the good days than the bad days. So I'm about to get a snack for myself. Mid-afternoon snack is uh, my usual. It's my yogurt bowl with some fruit and chia seeds and dive into deep work for the next few hours um, on saturdays i don't tend to do too much work just make sure that all clients are looked after everyone's happy everyone knows what they're doing what they're focusing on nobody has any issues but i do try to take some time off as well just because when i do that i can give more energy during the week to my work so vegan protein powder greek yogurt frozen blueberries chia seeds a little bit of granola and cinnamon and a little high protein nutrient dense snack to get me going for the next few hours until dinner outfit change i'm meeting one of my girlfriends lee for sunset dinner i'm so excited this is the outfit choice. We're gonna go to a rooftop, watch the sunset, get a little bit of food, and have a nice chill Saturday. <laughs> I say chill now, we'll see how it goes, but I am pretty exhausted, so secretly I am hoping that it is going to be nice and chill. <laughs> before 10 p.m. taking off my makeup is the kind of vibes that I'm about these days that's as far as my nights out go <laughs> ended up in the ice cream shop and now I'm home ready to get my eight hours of sleep but that is my Saturday wrapped up I hope that you enjoyed this Bali vlog if you did let me know in the comments and like and subscribe for more videos like this love you all <laughs>